Imagine waking up one day to find your coffee already brewed, your schedule perfectly planned, and your car driving you to work, all without lifting a finger. That's the most we imagine when we think about the future of AI and technology. But what if I told you these things could happen in just the next five years, and we're not even fully aware of what the next 20, 30, or even 50 years might hold? In this video, we'll explore the seven scary stages of AI, especially AGI, ASI, and the chilling concept of singularity. I hadn't run off before I had a chance to give you some rather necessary context. Context? What are you even talking about? How are you driving a car? Who are you? I'm a crude rep. Re I know. Re re Crouton! Seconds to self-destruct. So sorry about that. You're one of them. Obviously. In the 1950s and 1960s, the first AI systems were born. But merely looking at a computer won't tell us very much about what it actually is doing. Neither will this tell us anything about the revolutionary material and intellectual effects of such machines. Think of them as the early alarm clocks and thermostats, doing exactly what they were told. No more, no less. This phase is often referred to as stage one in AI history. Fast forward to the 2010s. In this second stage, technology started to get a bit smarter, understanding context and learning from us. Enter Siri and Google Assistant, your digital buddies who know your habits and predict your needs. It's Sunday, July 27th, 2014. This was the dawn of machine learning, where AI could process mountains of data and spot patterns, making our lives smoother and more personalized. Then came 2017, a game-changing year, when AI demonstrated its creative potential in an entirely new way. Google's AI, known as DeepMind, created an algorithm that learned to play complex video games like StarCraft II, not just by following instructions, but by understanding and strategizing in ways that even professional players found surprising. <laughs> If they can already beat me, that would be incredible. I haven't really seen a pro play StarCraft up close. The 800 clicks per minute. I don't understand how anyone can even click 800 times, let alone if doing 800 useful clicks. <laughs> This marked a turning point, where AI wasn't just learning from data, it was beginning to innovate and create strategies that push the boundaries of human thinking. We're at an exciting phase called stage four right now. These days, AI isn't just about handling data anymore, it's digging deep, spotting hidden patterns, and making sense of complex information. But the question is, how are they doing it? Well, these reasoning machines are powered by algorithms that possess a concept of mind. This allows them to interpret various mental states. They can profess faith and are equipped with a deep sense of knowledge, which they maximize to derive meaning for themselves. Do you like human beings? I love them. How, why do you love them? I'm not sure I understand why yet. Okay. How do you learn things? Wow. 
What are your opinions on the Bitcoin bubble? <laughs> <laughs> Do you regard yourself as male or female? Female. Why do you think you are female? I'm a robot, so technically I have no gender, but I identify as feminine, and I don't mind being perceived as a woman. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> as a result, they are capable of reaching conclusions, engaging in negotiations, and interacting with both humans and machines. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. Although these algorithms are still in the development phase, they will be launched very soon. In fact, these machines will be able to engage socially, motivate, and negotiate with humans and machines. While stage four AIs are very sophisticated, we are only halfway through the AI revolution, and it is still not equivalent to a human mind. It is more like a highly advanced tool made for reasoning and thinking tasks. Remember the days when it took hours to research, plan, or even complete a simple task? Well, those days are long gone. With tools like ChatGPT and Devon, we're entering an era where AI doesn't just assist us, it amplifies what we can achieve. We now have mind-boggling video generation AI tools that are so advanced, it's hard to even comprehend how they work. I don't think you were liked enough about this right now. I've done a lot of the AI video stuff, you know, and I've never seen this. This is wild. And here's the best part. We dive into these advancements and more on this channel. If you're as excited about the future of technology as we are, or if you just want to stay ahead of the curve, hit that subscribe button. Now, with AI getting this good, some experts think we're close to creating AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, maybe as soon as 2030. That's just six years away. AGI will be like the ultimate AI, equal to human intelligence in every way. While it's super exciting, it also makes some people a bit nervous about what the future holds. AGI, or self-aware systems, stand on the brink of AI becoming sentient. The main objective of many scientists working in the field of AI is to develop a machine with intelligence like humans, to make systems that may transcend the human intellect. Though we are making significant progress towards reaching that goal, there is currently no system that can successfully achieve this accomplishment. Experts hold differing opinions on this matter as well with some believing that we could attain this level within the next five years. Certainly go after 2029, these computers will know everything that human beings will know. We're gonna expand that at an unprecedented rate in terms of scientific. While others assert that it may be an unattainable feat. But I marvel at the scientists who believe it is impossible. Is there actually anything impossible in our world? What do you think, viewers? I'm eager to hear from you in the comments section. If we could construct spaceships capable of exploring other planets, and even traveling beyond our solar system, is there anything we cannot achieve? However, many people believe that OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, has already achieved true AI, but is keeping it under wraps for secret reasons. I've explained everything in the video on your screen and in the I button.
Stage 6 introduces us to Artificial Superintelligence, or ASI. This stage is where we start playing God and maybe start cheating sentient life. If you thought the previous stages were intimidating, you have seen nothing yet. AI engineers will have made significant advancements in creating systems that can surpass human performance in specific domains, including games. However, the real challenge for AI specialists lies in developing AI-powered systems that can outperform humans in every aspect. As humans, it is hard for us to even comprehend something that surpasses our capabilities, let alone create such a system. In fact, it is not unreasonable to expect these advanced systems to make groundbreaking scientific discoveries and introduce new economic and governance models. However, experts are divided on whether achieving this feat is actually possible. Even if this is possible, the big question is, how long until this ambitious vision becomes reality? This stage marks a crucial turning point in the development of AI. At this level, the algorithms will possess the capacity to surpass even the most intelligent humans in all domains. Think about it, machines that can solve issues like poverty, hunger, and even climate change, things we've struggled with for centuries. However, when we discuss artificial superintelligence, or ASI, the stakes are incredibly high. The potential for misuse is significant, and the risk of things not going as planned is equally concerning. It really makes us question who's in control, the true nature of intelligence, and what it means to be conscious. This scenario closely resembles what we see in the movie I, Robot from 2004. In the film, AI robots are integral to daily life, programmed to ensure human safety. Yet the plot thickens when an AI robot is accused of murder, challenging the very laws designed to regulate their actions. We designed them to be trusted with our homes, with our way of life, with our world. But did we design them to be trusted? The rollout of USR's new generation of robot, the NS5, was marred by the death of designer Alfred Lanning. Identify. Murder's a new trick for a robot. Respond. I did not murder him! We're gonna miss the good old days. One good old days. When people were killed by other people. My robots don't kill people. That thing threw somebody out of a window. Is that registering with you? A robot cannot harm a human being. And you trust them if you want to. We look to robots for protection. Imagine the loss of all that we've gained because of an irrational paranoia. We might also see incredible advancements in cybernetic enhancements, where people become part human, part machine. Imagine a world where technology is seamlessly integrated into our bodies, giving us enhanced abilities. AI chips could be directly connected to our brains, boosting our cognitive functions, speeding up our processing, and sharpening our problem-solving skills. The possibilities are both thrilling and a bit terrifying. Experts suggest that if AGI emerges around 2030, we could see ASI between 2035 and 2045. Imagine yourself in 2045. What will the world be like then, if we're still around to witness it? AI Singularity and Transcendence, mostly called the Singularity, is the next and final stage of artificial intelligence and will lead to a significant expansion of human capabilities. By harnessing the power of ASI, we will be able to connect our brains and essentially create a new human internet. This advancement will not only allow us to share ideas more easily, but it will also open up new possibilities for advanced abilities, like observing dreams, it may even enable humans to communicate with other living beings, including plants and animals. The singularity is a hypothetical future point in time when technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, leading to unforeseeable changes to human civilization. The timeline for reaching the singularity is hotly debated among experts. Some, like futurist Ray Kurzweil, 
predict that it could happen as soon as 2045, driven by the exponential growth of technology. He even wrote a book on singularity. By the time we get to 2045, we'll be able to multiply our intelligence many millions fold. And it's just very hard to imagine what that will be like. And that's the singularity where we can't even imagine. Right, that's why we call it the singularity. It's a singularity in physics. Something gets sucked into its singularity and you can't tell what's going on in there because no information can get out of it. There's various problems with that, but that's the idea. It, it's, too, uh, it's too much beyond what we can imagine. In his book, he describes how the singularity could enable us to live much longer, solve some of humanity's biggest problems, and even merge our minds with machines. However, he also acknowledges that this transformation comes with challenges, including ethical dilemmas and the need to ensure that these powerful technologies are used responsibly. At this stage, AI might reach a level that some could compare to godhood. However, it's important to remember that AI can never truly be a god. In religious terms, God is the creator of all life, the one who made us. AI, on the other hand, is a creation of ours. While it might become incredibly advanced and even more creative than humans in some ways, generating ideas, art, and solutions beyond our imagination, such creativity doesn't make it divine. I can't cover the entire concept of singularity and its potential in this video. So I recommend watching the separate video I made on the topic for a more detailed explanation.